how to care for your energetic body. Now, we don't only just have physical bodies, we also have energetic bodies. And this is what we call your aura, your personal electromagnetic field. And you need to care for it just like you would your physical body, like you brush your teeth or take a shower, or eat healthy food, in the same ways we can care for our energy bodies because our energy bodies informs our physical bodies. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite ways to care for my energetic body, your energetic body, so you can feel more clear, connected, and be in flow. Your energetic body is your aura. It's comprised of multiple different layers that connect to our physical bodies, our emotional bodies, and our auric field. That's our own personal electromagnetic field that we use in the world. And it can pick up on information, on different energies, on all sorts of different things. And if our energy body isn't clear, our intuition's not gonna be clear, and it even can inform our physical health as well. Our energy bodies tell the truth first. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you on how to care and nurture your energetic body. But first, let me just introduce myself. Hi, I'm Sonia. I'm a fourth generation intuitive and I teach you how to plug back into your innate divine self. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. If you're returning, welcome back. What a pleasure. As always, don't forget to hit subscribe, that little bell notification, share it with a friend. We love it. Leave me a comment. We love all these different things. And I'm so excited because in two weeks, I'm going to be offering my first group course, Psychic University, that will walk you through tools on how to better connect with your intuition, your body, spiritual practices, all of it. So if you're interested, check out the description box below for more information. So let's get into it. Your energetic body. Now, your energetic body picks up on all sorts of stuff. Like for example, it's if you walk into a room and get a bad vibe, that's your energy body that's picking up on the information that then informs your physical body. Now, when our energetic bodies are, aren't clean and clear, that's where our intuitive guidance can kind of get muffled, where we can overly pick up on other people's emotions, it can keep us ungrounded, and it can even inform our physical health. No fun. <laughs> So we can take some simple tools to care for our energetic bodies that can create huge shifts and create just like less work in our lives. You know, I was thinking about this because I remember years ago when I was younger, in my 20s, in my teens, <laughs> I wasn't always that sensitive to my energetic body. I knew I was sensitive, but I wasn't that aware of, of how it affected me. And I remember I once went to a party with a friend and I had had a few drinks. She was sober. She offered to drive me home. And on the way home, she just talked to me the entire time about all of the things that were going wrong in her life, which is fine, but it kind of got on this tear. We pull up in front of my house and I am sitting in the car with my friend for a very, very, very long time as she just downloads all this stuff onto me. And then I was like, okay, bye. The next morning I woke up and I felt like just bleh, my everything in me. It was a beautiful day. I was supposed to go see an improv show with my mom. Things, it was supposed to be good. I had a really nice time at the party. What was wrong? my energy body had gotten infected with her negativity, with all of it. I remember calling my mom and she was like, what's wrong? I was like, nothing. She's like, yeah, that's wrong. You've had some a psychic attack, as we call it in my family. And I was like, oh, you're totally right. So the first thing that we can do in just starting to pay attention to our energy bodies is notice. How do we feel? What's your baseline? Where do you feel different things in your physical body? You know, our physical bodies speak to us. So areas where we have tightness or where we're holding a lot of stress or tension, we can even open up to our intuitive portals by doing a body scan and just noticing where we're holding that energy. And even through the portal of our imagination, just start to ask it to speak, to speak to you. And this might feel strange, but what's interesting is that your body will talk to you. 
and I'll be like, oh, I'm holding all this emotion or, you know, this is this is something that gets entrenched in me. Maybe I was holding all, I'm feeling tight in my shoulders because I'm holding all that tension and energy from my friend. You know, when we can start to even just be aware of our physical bodies, of the emotional bodies that come to visit, that helps to clear out our energy bodies. Now, second tool that I always love all the time that I use, keep that thing on me, is this rose water. Can you do it? Do I have to do it like an influencer? There we go. <laughs> uh, it's rose water. Rose water clears your energy field. It's kind of like a little spritzing bath. And as we can do that, you know, we have to remember that like you have your own biomagnetic field. It can, it's measurable, it's like quantifiable. You know, everything in the world is vibration and frequency. And so simple ways that we can use to clean our energy body. Rose water is a great one. Taking a hot bath with Epsom salt and baking soda, half cup, half cup. The salt, it works as a neutralizer, while the baking soda helps to pull toxic energy out of our magnetic field. Third, the other thing that we can do, which happens especially when we're sensitive and empathic, is we can get energetic cords. That means that we get corded to other people's energies, experiences, emotions. And so there's a really simple way that we can use to cut energetic cords that basically lightens the load of like, this isn't my energy, this is somebody else's. This is one tool that I use when I got out of the car with my friend because I was corded to that like sucking energy. So what you can do is just like I said at the beginning, do a body scan and notice where you feel tightness and then ask, is that my energy? or somebody else's. And trust what comes up, don't overthink it. And then what you can do is actually start to cut the cord. You can press your hands right in front of you like that, pow, using the word saharapna, which is Tibetan. And it basically means I cut the cord and I send the energy back to you. I'm sending all of that energy back to you. And what's interesting is oftentimes when you cut energetic cords, whether from an old relationship, a, a negative friend, a, you know, a toxic family member, they happen, they'll feel it. And all of a sudden they'll pop back up. They'll be like, oh, hey, I was thinking about you. Just happened to one of my really, really good friends when she was dating, talking to this person dating. I was like, cut the cord, cut the energetic cord. And boom, next day they text it because they feel <laughs> that they're not pulling from your own energy. You know, fourth is when we can create a grounding system. You know, in order to even come back to center, we have to be grounded, which means rooted in home number one, our bodies connected to home number two, planet Earth. So grounding systems can help us notice when we're in balance or out of balance. And you can even just sit with upright, gently closing your eyes, starting to feel and pull up, through, breathe in through your feet, pulling up the support and energy of Mother Earth, connecting to yourself. And even there, big breath out, blowing out any energy that's in your field that isn't yours. And what you can even do there is use a sage stick as a really great way. Smoke is cleansing, fire is cleansing, and you can put that all around your energetic fields, all around your heart space, all the way down to your feet. I do this all the time, all the time, and I love it. <laughs> and just start to notice, like as you care for your energetic field, what you're doing is just keeping the energy clear, which allows you to better access your intuition, Connect to your own receptivity. Notice if you're taking on other people's emotions or feelings or things that aren't necessarily yours. And then last but not least, you know, be aware of who you allow in and around your energy field. If you're around somebody who's perpetually negative, then they're draining your energy field. If you're constantly watching like really intense things all the time, reading the news constantly, every update, you know, that will drain your energetic field. So do things that care for yourself, your mental health, and your body. And even caring for your energy field can be as simple as just eating well, getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, 
all of these things are cleansing and grounding. So these are just some tools that I have in clearing the energy body. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe. And as I said, don't forget to check out my free offerings. I have a spirit type quiz. I also have a quiz to tell you what your intuitive signature is. Take it as lots of tools and tips for you. Download my free guided meditation, intuition workbook, and come join my group class. We would love to have you. So I'm sending you all my love. Hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.